nice. That's a uh, 18. That's uh, 19, almost 20 inch fish right there. Hi, welcome to today's Western Angler. I'm your host Fred Beliba, and today we're out fishing with Kevin Brock. And as you can see, that we're already into drifting. And today we're fishing the Sacramento River out of out of the drift boat. I just had a hit. Out of the drift boat, and we're going for uh, rainbow trout, which is our native native trout That's in this correct. area. Native trout in this area. And I'm going to uh, turn the show over at this time to Kevin, and he's going to explain the uh, procedure that we're using today, the hookup, and then uh, hopefully uh, as soon as we get one in, then we're also going to show you the way we're hooked up with this uh, setup for uh, drifting setup for trout. Today again, we're out for a wild trout on the Sacramento and we're drifting out of a drift boat with the guide Kevin Brock and we're fishing I just got another hit we're fishing between Redding and Red Red Bluff on the Sacramento River go ahead Kevin tell them what we're doing here well today we're uh, side drifting out for these trout we're casting off the side we're drifting bait naturally and you can see me rowing and pulling on the oars just try to straighten out the boat for Fred to see if we can't get another bite there we've been getting lots of bites and fishing's been real good but the key thing to our success today has definitely been the, the sensitivity of the fishing rods that we use. We use G. Loomis, um, the number is a 781. It's an IMX rod and it's, yeah, it's a little spindy, but it's the most sensitive rod and you'll see in some of the footage how much it bends over and how all those fish can really be detected well with it. So light line, we're using four pound test P line, uh, which really helps because there's a lot of strikes. We can land big fish on that if you uh, use the right rod. And then our reels, our drags are set so light that those fish run off and we don't break the line. So that really helps. So a good drag system, a good rod, nice sensitive rod, anything from two to six pound test will work perfect, two to eight, anything like that. And six and a half foot to seven foot rod and you're going to catch fish. And we've got fish uh, all the way down the river so far and we're still in some good spots right here. So we should get another one right now. And what is the bait setup that we're using? You said right now is really good bait. Yeah, it is bait, bait time right now. It's really good bait water. Uh, our baits consist of anything from an egg imitation, from a glow bug, maybe a little piece of roe. We've even tried some crickets today and had a few bites. So any type of bait at all, as long as you side drift it correctly. And what I mean by side drift is just drag it along the bottom real nice and easy so it looks natural to those fish. You're going to catch some fish out here. Okay, well, that's the setup we're going to be using in today's show. And I hope you enjoy today's show. Again, we are drift fishing out of the drift boat with guide Kevin Brock. What's this method that um, you, you had me cast out? We're side drifting right now. Okay. Yeah. All I'm doing is running the bait naturally right alongside the boat. Um, so it just looks like it's just floating down river. The boat continually moves the whole time. So the bait is drifting the same, same. Uh, same time as the water and the boat? Correct. So you're just letting it drift natural down to look like a natural uh, presentation, boom, and then they hit it. Correct, and then they jump on it, and I'll tighten the line a little bit or push on the line a bit to make sure your bait does the fish. Get them, you got them. No. Nope. Oh, Sorry. No, 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 no problem, no problem. Um, He's a light biter. Now we're using salmon egg. Correct. Or roe. We're using some roe. And that's because of the time of the year? Time of the year, correct. Uh, we'll also be using uh, crickets and night crawlers work and you know, you know any type of bait if it's drifted right. So we're you know, coming in a real shallow spot right here, so it may kind of hang on you. And then when I drop it off that lip, you see right there I just took the boat and I pulled the line up and now I'm going to push on it. And, and what that does is that drops your bait right back in that little trough there. See if there's one laying there. And we're using light tackle, spinning. Very light tackle. There's one. Get up. All right. Yep, fish on. He's right where you're supposed to be. Fish on. Good job. Fish on. Uh, light tackle. Ultra light little spin rods. These little Loomis IMX rods that we're using are rated two to six. They're as light as they get. They make this trout fishing a lot of fun. That fish was laying right where he was supposed to right, be. Right at the end of the point there. Uh, it's, like, it's like you had a map in an open river. Not a monster, but he was right where he was supposed to be. Yeah. Right where, right where we would think we would be if we were a fish. Right, Kevin? You got it. With this one, I'll be able to just reach up. That's nice. 
Now, what's the catch here on the river? You can you can keep one. Okay. So it's a one two. one just one. You know, I I suggest that everyone just catch and release. They're just wild, beautiful trout. If you want to take one home to eat, that's fine. But um, now, are these natural spawning? They will all produce. All natural spawning. Absolutely, they all natural spawn. They haven't planted this area probably for about 18 years. So that's why they they really promote catch and release. They really promote catch and release. Now, where do the size of these fish uh, run normally? These Kevin? fish average, you know, 16, uh, 18 inches, and then, you know, at this time of the year, we're getting anything. Oh, that's a bite. Get him, get him, Fred. You got him. Yep. Fish on. Fish on. All right. And as you were saying? <laughs> as I was saying, at this time of year, we get we get fish anywhere from you know, 12 inches all the way up to 26 inches, you know, five, six pounds. So. Okay. And they're all native trout? All native rainbows, yeah. Oh, nice one. They put up a pretty good fight. Yeah. They really do. Well, it really feels like this water's cold, so... The water's crystal cold. They, um, they have some fight to them, that's for sure. lots of fight to them. They're not soft fish. they got lots of fight to them. All right. That right there. Get that up. Barbless hook comes right out. Nice fish. Now, let's show this, uh, this setup that you have here's here. The, too, here's the cut bowl right here. See, this is your, your rainbow and cutthroat mix. Uh -huh. Right there. Nice, so nice looking fish. fish. Yeah. Excellent, good. nice fish. Good job, All right. right. Let that one go. Off it took off there. Okay. Let's go do it again. Yeah. Go ahead and spin the ball. That's the way it started That's off. Right. Right. That's right. Yeah. Um, those guys were throwing those flies here, and they were just, I mean, yeah. they're out to do fly fishing, but you see how they just wasted their time when. They could have went out with bait and spinning gear and caught two. Yeah. Now we catch them a lot with fly gear out here too, because you have to be real persistent with it. And, yeah. and a, okay, a skilled angler. Okay. But if that's what the client wants to do, absolutely, <laughs> we're gonna fly fish. You're gonna do it and, and catch some fish doing it. Right. But I wouldn't, you know, you never anchor. That's the main thing. You don't want to anchor. Yeah. Well, like you said, there's too much water. It's too fast. You don't. You don't have the drift time. Right, you gotta be in there. You gotta be in the drift. I mean, it doesn't feel like it, but we're moving pretty good. Yeah. We've had a pretty good clip the whole time. And you gotta have a weight forward, you gotta have uh, weighted streamers or, or weighted up front so they get those things down, or even a trailer, or we, even we, a two fly hook. There's a lot of two flies out yeah. there, Fred. A lot of two flies. Yeah, because this water is just too quick. I mean, you might have. Mostly we fish indicators. Uh, and floating lines and real long leaders, 12, 15 foot length and leaders yeah. when we fly fish. Yeah. yeah, you may have, you know, 180 degrees, but then your drift time is only like a quarter of that of really fishing time in the water because it takes so long for that fly to get down. Your presentation isn't in the, in the right thermal climb. Out here, it's all about the presentation. Let's go ahead and reel it in there for us, please, Fred. We'll uh, jump on down here to the next run. Do some more down here. It's going a little fast here. You know, on the water, it's about 10 degrees cooler. It feels great. Mm. Yeah, that's that wind off that water. Really keeps it cool. Nice. I bet you you've had some heat up here. Yeah, it's been warm, but not bad. No. Like I said, when you're on the river, it's uh, always a little bit cooler. And you can stop and put your feet in the water, and it, it makes it real nice. Good.
nice casual little rollers. Yeah, real nice. Easy real going nice. water. Two crickets in line, one in front of the other. I told, I told Kevin that if this if the fish don't bite it, we'll just get some crackers out and we'll just eat the grasshoppers. Don't let them go to waste. We'll have them for lunch. Switch baits. See if that works. Keep wanting to hang on. Yeah. Lunch is on, guys. Let's do it. Change of menu.
Yeah. Another good one? Yeah. All right. Yeah, definitely. I like I yes. see him already. Oh, there he is. Nice. Nice fish. Not ready yet, is he? No, he's got no. Some life to him. Yeah, he's he's drifting with us with the water, but as soon as I bring him up, he doesn't like it. All right. Nice. Look at that. And then a great way to get a hook out. You can put your finger in it. Just pop it open. That way, it doesn't hurt them. And those are barbless. So barbless hooks. I got to just get the hook Doesn't hurt them a bit, and they're ready to go. Nice and nice. fish. Nice, beautiful. Yeah. Wow. All right. Get them back in the water. Sacramento River wild right. trout. Nice little place to hear. Yeah, it's a great little <laughs> spot. Great little spot. Yeah. yeah We're in again. Uh, no, we'll go okay. back up there and we'll catch you all one out. All right. There. Sound good. That was excellent. Nice. This little ultralight is is really the answer. You can really feel a bite on oh, it. Oh, yeah. Huh? Nice. Nice bite. smallmouth bass fishing and we're throwing in in and bring it out in and bring it out and and you know we could see fish following it but we didn't know where they were going you know they weren't taking it but we look underneath the boat and all the bass were underneath the goat uh, in the shade falling is going down river in the shade huh so my brother-in-law says well there's a little store over here so he pulled out in the little jetty out, out in the shore there and all the bass followed us towards the store. All the smallmouth bass were, that were in the shade underneath the boat, they just followed us right in and, and they were there, just staying there. And then as soon as, as soon as he went and got a couple of beers and sodas for the kids and we Go came back in the boat, line. the fish followed us right back out in the river. They wanted that shade. Yeah, huh? they were right below us all the time. Runner? Yeah, got them that time. Yeah. Good job, Fred. A little spunk to him, huh? Yeah. Yeah, he's doing some traveling. Sure make it nice, huh? You know what? You, really just, you just said exactly what I was thinking. What I said, what I seen this pole bend, I go, boy, this thing sure got a lot of guts. Because these fish, they don't want to come out of there. They don't want to. They don't want to give up easy, do they? All right. Another Sacramento trout, beautiful. Beautiful. Yeah? Nice. The fish, healthy. Yes, so healthy. real nice. Just like the water. The water looks good, the fish are good. Just beautiful. Nice. All right, got that. Yes. Yeah, this, uh, this little setup here, Kevin, really takes a lot of punishment, doesn't it? It really does. It, 
they're the most sensitive rods on the market, yet they're the lightest. You can feel everything. Man, feel this everything. is this is this is as ultra light as I've been with this size trout. Yeah, there he is. Not a monster, but pretty. Yep. Nice. Good nice. Well, from here, it's a different drift yeah, than right here. Out. It's a slower, nice, slower drift. Nice. So the touch was different through here. The bouncing wasn't so sharp. Right. So when when I caught the rhythm of the drift, as soon as I I, I knew I had something that was something was not, different. Yeah, something that was different that, that was out of the ordinary. I, I struck on it instead of letting him hit it with the force of him. Hold on, let me. <laughs> hey, that shows he, that he bit. But that shows up. Uh, that, sh that shows how, how aggressive these are, even that small. Look at that. Barely, barely, barely. And that's a new one. Yeah. That's a, that's a... Whoa, yes. Yes. Come on. Oh, nice one. Yes. He's going to do... He doesn't want to come up nothing. He doesn't want to give anything. He wants to stay down where it's nice and cool. He doesn't want to come up here. <laughs> he says it's too hot up there. He doesn't want to come up. That's good. Yeah. Come on. Come on. Rod's really low down. Oh, really? Nice. Nice. All right. Boy, he didn't want not he did not want to come up. He felt that water. Healthy fish. Look at that. Yeah. yeah. That's good. 29, yep. 18, 20, 22. Yep. 21 inches long. Nice. Wow. And I had him. Yeah, he was hooked good. You okay? Yeah. Both looking good. Good. Wow. Nice, thank you. Hey, good job. Look at the full fins on that. Yes. Looking good. Nice, nice, looking nice fish. catch. Beautiful. Very nice. Wow. There he goes. Boy, he did not want to come up any. He knew that that temperature changed as he was coming up. He just didn't want to give that depth up. He just didn't want to give it up. But hey, I really have confidence in this little setup here. Yeah, it's great, isn't it? It is really it's amazing, like I said. Up. I would never, ever attempt trying to come out with a small setup like this for the trout that we're catching. I wouldn't be confident, because I've never seen those rapids and said, hey, look at what You were just kind of sitting there leisurely yeah. there for a second. Oh, no big deal. Yeah, I really said, hey, bait. look at food coming by. Yes. All right. Nice. Nice. Oh yeah, he's he wants to get out there. Little help and push right to him. <laughs> well, we hit some current there. Yeah, <laughs> went right to him. Hey, 
hang down, huh? Yep. Ooh. If he goes underneath the boat, just, there you go. Dip, it, dip that line down. I'm going to spin. Ooh, very nice one. I'm going to spin. Very nice looking fish. Yes. Excellent. Want to keep this one? Nice. Nice, nice looking fish. Yeah. Right? Let's put this one in. Real nice. Yeah, I think that's that's the norm, hasn't it? Yeah. <laughs> He's drifted with us. He jumped up there to act like a decent fish. Yeah. He's, he's all over. Here he comes. He's a scrapper, isn't he? Yep. All right. Good hookup right there in the jaw. See how healthy they are? Yes, real uh, nice. Real nice, nice so looking, healthy. clean so fish. fish, yeah. Clean. Well, we're going to end the show. I hope you liked today's show. And also, I have some recommendations that in this area, when you're coming up to do some fishing with Kevin, um, I like to recommend that you stay at the River Inn Motel in Reading. And they have a website, and you can look up on a computer, and it would be www.readingriverinn.com. Uh, they also have an 800 number and that will be in the credits at the end of the show and also their website. When you come up to do some fishing with Kevin, you can come up and you can stay at the uh, River Inn Hotel and tell them that you've seen it on the Western Angler. Go ahead, Kevin. Tell them where oh, we're wonderful. at. Wonderful. We sure had a great time out fishing today and one of the reasons why we were able to be real successful and had a great time at fighting the fish is we were using real ultralight gear. Uh, one of the main things is we use nothing but all G. Loomis rods when you come out in the boat and fish, no matter what kind of fishing we do. Uh, they're the lightest, most sensitive rods on the market. This one here is a, called the 781 IMX. It's rated two to six pound test, and these two to four pound trout really bend it over. They pull it down pretty good, yeah, huh, Fred? Good They'll bend it all the way down underneath the boat. Uh, we're using six pound main line. It's P-Line uh, CX. It's a premium line. It's great off these little spinning reels. You got a nice smooth drag. This is a pin pry on, uh, 900 reel. So we got a real, real smooth drag. So that was important on some of those big fish that would just take off running on us. We're using a four pound leader, uh, small like number eight Gamagatsu hook, real sharp hooks. Very important. Gamagatsu has one of the sharpest hooks out there. One of the main keys too, and is a sliding rig. So on our main line, we put a swivel and we put a slinky for a weight. That slides so when the fish grab the bait, they don't feel that drag at all. They don't feel any weight, so they hold on to it just long enough so you can get the hook in them. And then just a small swivel to stop that, uh, two and a half to three foot leader, a four pound test, and you're ready to go. We used eggs today, uh, we used some crickets, any type of bait works out here and you'll catch some trout. Now this, this was Kevin, thank you very much. Thank you. You want to give your 800 number again, please? Absolutely, it's 800 995 Give them a call. Hey. This is Fred Beliba leaving you on the Sacramento and Redding. Until next time, good luck and good fishing to you. It's nice. That's a 18, that's a 19, almost 20 inch fish right there. One inch. You know, I, I suggest.